Hello, my name is uh, Harris Foster. We're going to be checking out Tunic today, and uh, I am joined by Andrew Schuldice, its lead developer. Andrew, how are you today? I'm doing just fine. How are you doing, Harris? I'm doing good. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, I'm the community manager of Finji. We're publishing this game while Andrew is working hard developing it, uh, and we have a lot of requests for people to check out our demo who might not be able to make it to things like PAX or E3 or any of the shows that we take it to. So we're going to take a look at our demo today. Are we ready, Andrew? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's so, get into uh, it. Yeah, uh, Tunic is uh, an isometric action adventure about a tiny fox in a big world. This little fox right here. And, uh, How cute. Yeah. And uh, everybody's favorite thing right at the beginning is walking around in this grass right here. Yeah. Pushing it around a little bit. Um, but there's more to the game than just pushing around some grass. Uh, the, the thing that we say it's about is, is, is three things. It's um, about exploring the countryside. It's about fighting monsters and finding secrets. Um, these guys we can't fight just yet. So uh, Harris, why don't you go into that cave there and maybe I've left a surprise for you. Oh, so yeah, I will be playing the game uh, while Andrew provides some helpful narration. And it looks like we've got, oh, a stick. A stick. So uh, the way uh, inventory works is you hold down uh, RB and it pulls up this like little interface and you can select the item and assign it to X or Y or B just by pressing that there button. Harris, are you a are you a stick on X person? I, I am. I think X, you know, that's a that's a very hostile letter. So I like to attack <laughs> good people attack. with X. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and there you go. It's a real video game. You can smash bots and smash enemies. So Harris here is do, using targeting. So if you hold down uh, left trigger, you'll face the nearest enemy, the nearest threat, and that allows you to make sure that your your hits land a little bit more around. Like, these guys aren't that hard. Um, but uh, targeting is going to be an important thing later on. It also, you might have noticed, tilts the camera. So uh, sometimes you get spots on secrets in the world, like uh, right here, Ken Harris, and you give it a little tilt. Little uh, little RB down there. Oh, is, there, is there something down there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you a little secret. Right. Hit, a little, hit, hit your targeting. Oh, you see a secret there on the screen? Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Maybe you'll get there one day. Maybe. Who knows? All right, let's head up these big stairs. All right, let's go. And uh, so you'll see these signposts around the world every now and again, and you know, they'll, they'll help you on your way, or I don't know, maybe not. Well, that's kind of threatening. It's... I don't know if I want to go over <laughs> yeah, there let's yet. Let's not go that way this, okay. this time. Yeah, so there's all these like weird glyph text in the world that's meant to be like, I don't know, they, the, the thing that we tell people about the game is that it's, you know, it's, it's meant to make you feel like you're, you're small and you're in a place where you don't belong. Definitely. I, I felt really small next to the statue. I'm going to walk up to it here. Press the A button. Bam. So oh, here's wow. A, yeah, here's a, a checkpoint. So uh, if you get felled by some foul beast, uh, you can, uh, you'll respawn back here. Sweet. Okay. Let's yeah. keep pressing on. Yeah, so uh, Tunic is set in this sort of like ruined world and you explore it and it's the sort of thing where if you, like the story is pretty like, um, has a light touch, but if you like dig around, maybe you'll you'll discover that there's, you know, more to the eye in this world. Even when smashing blobs. Nice work. There we go. Yeah, no no, I, can't, I can't hear it on the call right here, but uh, you folks can hear it. This is the music is by uh, a guy named Terrence Lee, otherwise known as Life Formed. And uh, yeah, he's done a bunch of cool stuff, including the music for the, the Double Fine documentary. And uh, he worked on the game Dust Force, all kinds of good stuff. So this enemy is a little bit harder, Harris. Can you do it? Can you do it? Can you dodge? Oh, it's just the right no, he time? got me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. gotcha, oh, got me good. I believe in you. So this is where you got to use that, that dodge to sort of like wait for the attack. Get out of the way, land some ants. Yeah, you got it. You there got we it. go. Nice work. Only one heart down. Not not too bad. Not too bad. Hey, you're fine. I believe in you. <laughs> oh wow. Here's another uh, another good Harris track. Or not Harris, Terrence. Harris, did you do the music for this game? You know, I wish I could say I did, but no, I'm <laughs> not that talented. Terrence Terrence has this nailed down. Um I see a sword up there. I kinda want yeah. it. Yeah. Let's go see if we can get that sword. Okay. So first there's a let's uh, maybe take a little detour. You see that cave there, Harris? I do. Yeah, hop inside. I'm going to show you one of the types of secrets that are in this game. So that little twinkly friend there. Walk up to that and maybe give it a grab. So hidden throughout the game. Uh, oh, yeah. Hmm. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh. 
All right. So this is uh, this is an instruction manual page, and these are scattered throughout the world. They are uh, manual pages for the game that you're playing, hidden in the game that you're playing. And this one is just about you know sort of mundane things like the controls, but as you can imagine, there's probably you know some more more uh, poignant, significant stuff hidden in in that maybe later on. That's fantastic. And so I can access that anytime by pressing LB. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Okay. We'll use that reference later on. Let's keep on going here. There's a neat little well. Hello, Will. Okay. <laughs> sure, why I'm not? I'm sure that'll come in handy later. Oh, another statue. Nice. Yeah, let's set our checkpoint here, just in case something bad happens. Not that, you know, not that anything bad is going to No, of course not. Oh, I, I healed up also. That's yeah, you got nice. all your hearts back. Let's take down this little guy. Bye. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of questions that we get are like, what is the structure of this world? Like, are there levels? Is it like a sort of linear thing? And uh, for the demo, it's sort of like a little bit more linearized, but in the actual game, um, it's it's a little bit more, um, I guess, open. So you can, uh, you know, you can go there, you can go left, you can go right. And um, there's certainly situations where you're gonna say like, oh geez, I, I can't make progress here, maybe I need like a special item or something like that. Um, but there's also other places where it's not just gated by items, it's sort of like gated by skill. And uh, yeah, I can talk a little bit more about that later. I like these little bouncy guys. Oh, thanks. Shoot little laser beams at you. Oh. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Oh, thank you. Okay, get some monies. Uh, yeah, that treasure you can use for, uh, for upgrades later on. <gasps> Look what you Ooh, found. I found the sword I was after, and I think I want it. There we, there go. we go. Yeah, hit Sparkle that right stick. gym in the middle. Ooh. Yeah. Love it. All right. You gonna throw that. You gonna replace your stick? So let's replace it. And you know what? I think I want to stick on Y just in case things get. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Cut, Chop some, oh, cut some bushes. Yeah. So that's a that's a, a very that's an example of like a, a super traditional uh, sort of gating situation where you know you find some bushes, and you get a sword, and you can chop them down. Uh, but the other thing you can do with the sword, um, Harris, I, I don't know if you knew this, but you can kill monsters with it a little bit. More what? Effectively, yeah. Wow. Wooden stick, not as good as sword. So now we can go this way because we can chop down these bushes. That's right. Amazing. Ooh. So, like I said for the demo, we sort of like kept it sort of like, hey, you should probably go to the sword before you go this way. But I am totally down with the idea of people wandering off and like maybe not getting the sword. Oh boy. That oh boy. hurt a so, lot. Maybe I should go back to that shrine and heal up. Oh, can you make it? Yeah. You can, can I make it? I'm getting chased. Ah, okay. Whew. Yeah. There you go. That's close. So when you uh, when you hit those checkpoints, enemies are gonna respawn and have their health refilled or whatever, but your health is refilled as well. And I've got a sword now, so that guy, rather than two hits, only took one. Yeah. I'm smoke. a stronger little fox for sure. Okay, so now, my mortal enemy, the spider. Yeah, you can do it. I believe in you. So here's the thing. With the uh, with the sword, you're going to do not only more damage, but you're going to do enough damage to make the sword flinch. Um, and there you go. So that allows you to um, get some more hits in as it's sort of like Good. covering from taking damage. Way to go. Awesome. And that's an example of how, like, if you had just had the, um, the stick, say, stick, it would be harder to, <laughs> yeah, there you go. It would be harder to make that that enemy flinch, and so it's uh, that's one of the ways that it's like, hey, this sword is is going to be useful to you in maybe more ways than is is apparent sort of at the outset. Harris, what's in the box? What's in the I box? I like need some treasure. Oh, oh boy! A shield. So I hold yeah, this up so... by holding right trigger, and now I'm a protected little fox. Yeah, you got it. I love the little tail wiggle. He's ready for a fight. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, actually, now that you've got both the targeting and the shield thing, I'm going to get you to, to try something there for me, Harris. Just okay. go up this ladder a little bit. Okay. And uh, and just we'll sneak up on this enemy. Don't attack it yet, but just here's the thing is that, yeah, if you just squeeze both triggers, if you ever get scared and you just want to squeeze both triggers, you'll face your nearest target because you're squeezing left trigger and raise your shield because you're squeezing right trigger, and so it's a good sort of like panic mode situation. If you ever so get should I get him? Uh, if you want, if you want. But let's uh, get him. Get you... Oh yeah. You oh no. Fun. Oh, nice dodge. Let's, go. let's see if I can get a block here. Oh, he missed, yeah. sucker. 
Haha, <laughs> right. yeah, we'll show a tank on the shield at some point later. But before now, you continue I feel like I'm there, going. Yeah, I feel like I'm going a little too far forward. I want to like explore a little bit more. Should we do that? Yeah, yeah. Go down. There's a little side path that you can go. Now, Harris, oh. this is going to be a real test of your skill. Okay. Yeah, I mean, look, it's like gated off and everything. There are people who do not want me up on this ledge. Yeah, look at that. So oh, this wow. is sort of a, yeah, these are some, one of these enemies at least is from later in the game. So let's see how you manage here. All right. One, two, so I'm going to try to dodge. isolate these bad guys. Nice work. Okay, so this enemy with the shield there, nice work, nice work, is an example of an enemy that is like, hey, you can you can take care of this thing if you just have your uh, your sword and shield. Um, but really, what you want to do is wait until you get like a special item later that helps you deal with their shield. That being said, if you are skilled enough, you can uh, you can take care of it. So um, let's see, you want to just take a beef on the shield to show what I'm talking about? Yeah, let's take it. Oh, yep, see that? <laughs> that yeah, hurt okay, you're wrecked. Right. Okay. So let's, uh, do you want to, so I, there's this special technique that I told Harris about earlier. So yeah, I, I'm going to try it out. We, let's not even tell anybody it. how it works, but let's try to figure out our yeah. dodge roll here. Let's see if you can do it. Oh, oh. no, not quite. No. Oh. oh, God. Okay, so this is okay. You still get a chance. You're at zero HP. Okay. That's, You're I'm very confident hit. right now. Here we go. Yeah. Let's wait. I'm going to wait for him to attack. Oh, no. Oh, he broke my stamina. Okay, good. Okay. That's, you're, you're still alive. You can do okay. it. I believe in you. I believe this in is going to be it. No! Oh, clipped. Oh, he got me. Okay. All Let's right. give it one more shot. And yeah, then I we're, believe. Do if we do don't it. get it, we don't get it for this trip. But I believe. So now that we know how all these guys work, we can kind of make short work of them. You can practice your dodge roll on this thing. That's the move we're going oh, for there right we go. there. Yeah. Let's try one more time on this. Oh, great. We're circling each other. <laughs> the epic showdown. Okay. Oh, look at that stab. Yeah, he's running now. He's scared. <laughs> Chopping down some. Come on. Bushes. Okay. Go. Spider That's guy, right. goodbye. Let's head back up onto this plateau here. So, uh, when, you, uh, when you get knocked out, you... Uh, some of your treasure. Um, so if you collect that there. Oh yeah. Let's get rid of that guy. Okay, we got the treasure. Now we're gonna stab. Oh no! I gotta get around him. Oh, not quite. Get out of there! Get out of there! Ah. Come on, buddy. Oh gosh. Okay. He's a toughie. Yeah. Oh, I've yeah. beaten him before, but some days it's just a little bit harder. Oh no! I gotta get the right angle. Oh, there we nice. go! Come on! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I got, I got, I got double too. Kill. I got too hasty. Okay. Well, we oh. can leave that guy as a little surprise for anyone who actually gets a chance to play our demo. If people get to show us; they can try him out for themselves. But I'm gonna continue on. Yeah, maybe let's go up here. ignore that for now. So we're gonna take out this guy. Nice work. He's gone. Peace. Now we've got a gate here. Can't really get through there, but we have an alternate path. Oh, Ow. oh later, oh. son. <laughs> Not gonna bother me anymore. Yeah. Uh, again, I can't hear it, but this is this is one of my favorite sound effects that uh, is in the game so far. Oh yeah. Yeah. Some some meaty. Meaty work by uh, that's by Kevin Rigamy uh, from Power Up Audio. They're the uh, the sound engineers for the game, doing some great work. You probably know them from uh, Gosh Pile of Stuff recently, uh, Celeste, and um, uh, they've done Super Meat Boy Forever, I believe. Oh uh, yeah, and um, uh, Towerfall, uh, uh, Darkest Dungeon. Oh, good that potion, huh? Yeah. Right, so how do we get this on here? We're gonna open up our inventory and then put it on another item, just like that. Okay, so now I guess if I ever get hurt, I am hurt right now. Why don't we use it? Yeah, go for it. There we go. <laughs> Help nice. out. So now, uh, another lever. First, do, you, do you know what this lever does too? You know, you've played this demo before. I, I, I have, have but I'm gonna it. pretend like I have no clue what this lever does. Uh, but your, wow. your internal sense of geography might tell you where it goes. Oh, well, these three guys look familiar. I look think. I'm back out of the checkpoint! Hooray! 
Okay, so this is a shortcut. Yeah. Nice. So in case I die and want to get back to where I was, I can always just climb back up here. And yeah. Boom, I'm much further along. Nice. Not, not that you're ever, you're ever going to die. No, I've never died in this game. Yeah. I, I think you're, you're, you're oh, God, I'm, I'm going to die. Okay. Oh, no, I believe you. Oh, these guys, they, oh, they're not playing around. Okay, all right. Oh, back up, back up, little fox. Oh, be safe. All right, pick him off, pick him off. Get out of there, get out of there. Nice, nice. I hope the uh, my microphone is picking up just how much action my <laughs> controller is getting. Oh, no! I was talking, and then I forgot to play the video game. Okay, well, now this gives us a chance to use our shortcut. So we yeah. can dodge everything that we did before. Yeah, and uh, it, when you hit checkpoints or respawn at them, your um, that health potion that you had uh, filled back up. So you've got another oh, one. Oh, sweet. The, the shoot and you, a little shoot safeguard now. Yeah, exactly. Again, not that you'll need it. There's my oh. items from before. All my monies. Ow. Okay. Oh, no, I'm in the corner. All right. This is a really good opportunity here. Okay, let's back up and use that health potion. Oh. Did you get it off? Oh, no. I did. I got it. Oh, you did? Yeah, okay. Yeah, good. okay. We got one guy down. We got two guys down. Oh. Nice. Okay, sweet. You did it. We Thank did you. it. Certainly things will be smooth sailing from here on out. Yeah, exactly. Let's go uh, ahead and open this lever. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do something to you here, Harris. Okay. I'm gonna use the power across the internet here. I'm gonna warp you forward in the game. Oh, Okay, well that doesn't seem. I'm not prepared, but let's. You're, maybe you're it's definitely a happy zone. not. But uh, I mean, yeah, no, it's this is this. This is spot beautiful... seems very peaceful, tranquil. I think I'm gonna have a really good time here. So yeah, it's let's nothing go ahead. Possibly... And... Oh my goodness gracious! All right, so just stay okay. calm and. Okay. Uh, All right. You... I I think oh, I got God. this. Oh. Uh, Harris. Yeah, I. Th Harris, what just did you? Can I? Okay, Good well, job. thank Good thank job. you, Andrew, for walking me through <laughs> Tunic. I appreciate it. I had a great time. Um, and, uh, yeah, I hope, to, uh, I hope to play some more soon. Fantastic. Thanks very much, Harris. All right.